Get it all new report. According to NoDQ.com. Well, this is this is reports, three separate articles. This is a huge video. This is loaded with news about WrestleMania 32, W WrestleMania 32 next year, April 3rd, 2016, live on the W Network. 100,000 people, Dallas, Texas. The possible opponents and the original plans. Well, the possible opponents for Brock Lesnar and the Undertaker, and original plans for the Sting and next year's Mania. Let's get into it. Let's not waste any time, guys. I just wanted to combine this into one video instead of doing instead of doing three separate videos. Do you guys know what I'm saying? To make this more of a jam-packed, huge blockbuster episode. So let's get into it. Uh, like I said, uh, seen on NoDQ.com, according to the Wrestling Observer newsletter. So four names. This is about Brock Lesnar. Four names are being considered as possible opponents for Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 32. Now those names are the following. So starting off with Roman Reigns, we saw that at last year's WrestleMania 31 for the WWE World Championship. Uh, Seth Rollins, well, well, uh, where we saw that at Battleground. The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now I'm gonna just say this really quick. There's still a lot to this report, but I'm gonna get my view. Who would I want to see him face? Let's see I, if it's down to these four. Now Brock Lesnar versus, Brock Lesnar versus the Undertaker ain't gonna happen. It's going to happen at Hell in a Cell because of the network subscribers they need and the low TV ratings are pushing that up instead of WrestleMania 32. Now, yeah, inside the Hell in a Cell structure, so that won't be happening. This trilogy is going to be in October. But Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns, right, was for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship last year at WrestleMania 31. Not last year. Earlier this year. This past WrestleMania. A hell of a match. Very physical. Very great match. I liked it a lot. It was the main event. Seth Rollins cash in, obviously he was the winner. So I can see why they would do a rematch. Uh, you gotta just look at the booking. You gotta look at the logic here. I would see why. They'd be, you know, the story they can go with behind this one, you can say, oh, well, we never, we don't know who the true, you know, uh, the true big man, the true uh, better man, who, who really is the better man. You know, so yeah, because Seth Rollins cash in. We didn't have that one-on-one -on -one finish, but it was a great match, so I'm not going to say it. Or I'm going to say that, I mean. Now, Brock, and then you can also do that to Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. Undertaker, remember, he interfered. He didn't, no one got the pinfall victory. So, technically, there's some unfinished business, and I'm hearing Brock Lesnar might be the winner of the 2016 Royal Rumble versus the champion, either Seth Rollins, maybe. And The Rock, we've never seen that rematch where Brock Lesnar did win that. So, yeah. And then Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Rock, we never seen that match, and that'd be that's a dream match people want to see. I wouldn't mind seeing any of these matches to be honest, but I do would I I would say The Rock versus Stone Cold. The Rock, The Rock or Stone Cold, one of those two I would not mind. But if I had to pick one, I would. They're two big matches. I wouldn't. I don't know to be honest with you. I don't I don't mind any of those. Now let's get into this report. There's still more of that. Did you think we were done? Did you think that was all to it? Now, Reigns is said to be a viable option because the two have history. However, WWE may also be grooming Reigns for the first or for the title picture around that time. Now, as for Rollins, the idea would be for the match against Lesnar to to be for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Okay, well, there you have it. But that would only take place if Rollins still has his title around that time. So yeah. Uh, WWE had has had plans for the Rock to face Lesnar back in. 2014, um, but those, however, those plans were scrapped after The Rock suffered injuries in his match at WrestleMania 29. Now, as for Austin, he had ruled out the match uh, multiple times after it was teased on his WWE Network special with Paul Heyman, but his name needs to, to still be brought up. So yeah, there you have it. Those are the details. I'm um, so yeah. Water. But yeah. Um, you know, we're going to have a lot of big money matches. they got to fill that stadium, AT&T, Cowboy Stadium. What a way. I would say if you want to fill that arena, you got to do Brock Lesnar versus Stone Cold. And if he can't go, Brock Lesnar versus The Rock. That's really it. I mean, if you want to draw money, I'm just saying. Or you can do one, or, you know. Now, as it concerns The Undertaker, according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, CM No DQ. Now, three names in mind for possible opponents for the Undertaker at WrestleMania 32 include Seth Rollins, Braun Strowman, or John Cena. 
So Seth Rollins, he's mentioned again. Um, uh, I would say this. Who do I want to see? I want to see John Cena. Without a doubt. I'll tell you why. Well, I'll just finish this first. From a booking standpoint, Rollins is the top heel of the company. It would make a lot more sense to put this match together. True. As for Cena, official seal that any match between the two would be uh, good because it's never been done on a big stage since Cena established himself as the top star of the company. That's true. They've never faced at a WrestleMania. Now they face, I think, this vengeance. They face, they face a few reasons in the past. And on, you know, SmackDown. I think even on Raw. I believe. I would love to see this now. It's not because I'm a John Cena fan, boy. I would really want to see it. You know, John Cena would win if this was a tournament match for Undertaker. You know, no one's going to be mad because, you know, the streak's already been broken, so, yeah. Um, as Rollins, he is the top heel. Seth Rollins is Undertaker. Those would be two good matches, probably Cena and Rollins, you know, Temple's facing the Undertaker. I, Seth Rollins, I wouldn't mind either, but Braun Strowman, I don't think it's his, him. He's not that good. Like, I'm not interested in him, but I have not seen him really wrestle singles, so I can't really speak for that, but, you know, still six months away, so maybe he'll be more entertaining, but I would say Cena would be the man. Really. That's just my opinion, though. Who do you want to see Undertaker face out of those three, and who do you want to see Brock Lesnar face out of the four that I told you about? So, yeah. Um, it's, you know, WrestleMania 32 has changed over the past few weeks because, I want to take a drink of water, but, uh, because, uh, Basically, a lot of people have been rolled out. There's a lot of question marks. You don't know who's going to be showing up and stuff. That's the thing. That's really why, to be honest with you. We don't know. But we will say this. I will say this. WrestleMania 32 could be the biggest WrestleMania of all time. And one and, I, and these are the original plans for... Well, were the original plans for Sting. We don't know what his status is. But I will say this. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Sting. Let's get into that report. So yeah, ladies. Um, before Sting suffered an injury in his match against Seth Rollins at the United Champions event on that Sunday, the plan was for him to face Bray Wyatt. At WrestleMania 32, okay, I guess we're not going to get Sting versus The Undertaker, just saying. Um, now, as of this writing, there's no indication yet on Sting's future as an in-ring competitor. Normally, when someone over the age of 50 steps into a WWE ring and gets injured, the company is against the, the idea of bringing him back. Really quick, Sting, you know, in WCW, one of the greatest of all time, greatest for wrestlers of all time, he should be in the WWE Hall of Fame. You know, TNA, he was a good been wrestling for a year, decades. Um, I will say the Sting, uh, his record in the WWE I think is one and two. Um, zero oh and two on pay per view. Lost to Triple H, lost to Seth Rollins. You know, he should have won the WWE World of Championship in my opinion, but luckily he's not in a wheelchair. Luckily he's okay. Um, can he go again? He said in an interview that he would, but it has to be the right match and stuff. So, you know. You know, his career really speaks for itself, though, to be honest. Yeah, you can say the kids, you know, they're not going to know him, but... I mean, I didn't grow up with Sting. I know who Sting is, but... We're talking about, like, eight-year-olds, seven-year-olds, probably. You know? But, um, I will say this. Hopefully all three of these men can be at WrestleMania. But I will say, you know, um... Sting should have beat Triple H at least... Um, because he did say in an interview that he wants to put over the young talents, okay, I understand. Seth Rollins, okay, maybe, maybe he shouldn't have beat Seth Rollins, but Triple H, he should have beat, he's not a, he's not a young guy, he's not an up-and-comer. Sting did great for his age at, at, you know, him and matches, he was on Raws, he was on pay -reviews. you know, he had that, let, that deal and stuff, but him versus Ray White would probably be a good match. You know, with the creepy sides, it would be probably a good story. Um... Will he ever continue? Was that his last match? We're going to have to wait and see, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to wait and find out. Should be interesting. 
So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, share this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. What do you who do you want to see Sting face? Who do you want to see Brock Lesnar face? Who do you want to see Undertaker face? You know, tell me about your thoughts on WrestleMania 32. What matches do you want to see? And yeah, guys, this has been Emag2411 on YouTube.com. Peace out.